Wild Spirit presents the sixth edition of its wildlife veterinary course in South Africa. This year we were joined by veterinarians and students from all over the globe. France, Italy, Belgium, Switzerland, Germany, Kenya, England, Greece, United States, Canada, Spain, Israel, South Korea, India, Hungary, the Netherlands and Portugal. During the 14-day course of August and September, our students participated in a wide variety of medical cases and captures, from Johannesburg to the South Coast. Here's the combination of both. Once in Africa is where the veterinary work reaches its ultimate splendor, where veterinarians connect with the adventure of the medical profession, where there is still hope for conservation, where the dream of working with wildlife becomes a reality, where veterinarians do not wait in a clinic, but they travel hundreds of miles to attend to their patients. Among others, we highlight the chemical immobilization and anesthesia of lions rescued from circuses and brought from South America. With a renowned Dr. Gerard Steenkamp as dentist, he performed numerous root canals and extractions of fractioned and infected teeth with the aim of improving their welfare. Castrations were also performed, since breeding is not permitted in rescue facilities. But there were many more experiences in these two programs. Anesthesia for disease control and sexing of hyenas, sanitary checkup and vaccinations to wild dogs in the Devolt Breeding Centre. As we know, the wild dogs are highly endangered carnivores. Vaccination and blood sampling for the genetic analysis in cheetah, with the aim of maintaining healthy populations and increasing the genetic diversity of a species that was once on the brink of extinction. Annual checkup and treatment with vitamin supplements in lion and white tigers in captivity. Treatment of fungus infections in lion cubs. Mobilization for blood testing of diseases and tuberculin test in buffalo. Capture and reintroduction of roan antelope. Drone tracking. Capture and chemical mobilization of a giraffe which had a wire snare compromising mobility of one leg. And Rhino. South Africa is home to 90% of the world's population of less than 20,000 animals. In addition to the pressure for loss of habitat, Rhinos are killed by the hundreds monthly, more than 1,600 per year in South Africa alone, not counting lost orphans. In a fight where the corruption of African countries and the ruthless Asian Mafia is at the order of the day, the frustration only increases. Along with heightened safety measures, veterinarians have to implement a temporary measure which do not solve the problem dehorning under anesthesia of these wonderful creatures. Knowing that with the techniques we implement, the horn grows again. All of us love rhino as they should be, with a horn. The question is do we prefer rhino without horns but alive, or with horns but at risk of being poached? Seeing these examples, you will understand that the veterinary work in South Africa is not only amateurs jumping from helicopters, but professionals implementing medicine, surgery, customer education, animal welfare and a constant struggle for the ethically correct and conservation of these species. Our patience, our passion. In addition to the ideal, this experience, an eye-opener to the reality and difficulty involved in working as a wildlife veterinarian, to the importance of not only being active, intelligent and having courage, but also having the values of patience, empathy, adaptability to the great diversity of situations and places, and above all, have the value of respect to new cultures and beings. This is not only a veterinary experience, it's also a personal and enriching experience in South Africa, where to meet veterinary colleagues from all over the globe, and together, 
live unforgettable adventures and experiences, to share times of pressure and many laughs, and make friends for life. Once again, our students have had the privilege of learning from the knowledge of some of the best experts in this discipline. Dr. Brendan Tyndall and Dr. Peter Caldwell, and always under the leadership and care of Dr. Fabiola Quesada. This year, in addition, a special collaboration of Dr. Jennifer Rabaglietti. For Wild Spirit, it has been a privilege to work with each and every one of you, our students and colleagues, who year after year help us to improve and maintain the dream. We greatly appreciate your involvement with conservation and your predisposition for veterinary training with wildlife. Without you, all this would not have been possible. We are the last generation that can make the change. These practical experiences are not intended to make experts in 40 days, but the aim rather is to teach that working with wildlife is not just a dream, but a reality that has to be protected and in which we veterinarians have an important role to play and even more to educate ourselves.